Hello all, welcome to the channel Smart Study with Shivani. Today I have brought for you an interesting mathematic topic which is very easy, the simplest one, the number system. To begin with, we start with the place value chart. It is having the international place value, the international number system. So the place value chart is a table used to identify the value of each digit based on its position in a number according to the international number system. We will look into this using one example. The place values used in this system are ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, millions and so on. And it follows the 3 is to 3 is to 3 system of comma placement. Now first we will have a look at the place value chart. Over here there are numbers and places and digits but we have to read it from the bottom to the top because once is the smallest position or the place in the place value chart because it is having only one digit so any number that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 even 0 it is a single digit it is having only single digit in its so the place is once and if we write from 10 to 99 any number you take then it is called as tens because it is having two digit in its number. So on 100 till 999 there are three digits in its number so it is called hundreds. So and then so forth. Now what do you mean by 3 is to 3 is to 3 system of comma placement. When you take any number then 1s, 10s and 100s they belong to one family or one group called 1s period. 1000s, 10,000s and 100s these 3 forms one family or one period of 1000s. So it is Whenever a number is written, we after three digits, we put a comma, so they get differentiated from one period to another. Let's have a look at an example like 24753. Now, interestingly, why we didn't put a comma after 7, but we put a comma after 4? Because when we read the place value chart, we have to go from right to left because 3 is the smallest digit its place or its position is once so 3 5 7 they belong to one group or one period of once so they become 3 together and then we put comma now in the second period of thousands we have only two digits 4 and 2 okay so now it is read as 24,000 because it belongs to a group of 1,000 and then 753. So the arrow over here indicates that we have to start reading uh, or pu while putting the places we have to start from right to left. We take a second example. It is 258.374. So, 4 over here comes in the place of 1s, 7 in 10s, 3 in 100s. This 3, they form 1s period and then we put a comma and then for the 1000s, 8, 5 and 2, they belong to the group or a period of 1000s. Same example, we take it, then we have just uh, put a table and in that tabular form, we have inserted these digits in their particular places again we will start from right to left so 3 will come in the position of 1s 5 in 10s 7 in 100s 4 in 1000s 2 in 10,000s and for the next sum that is 258 374 4 is in 1s 7 in 10s 3 in 100s 8 in 1000s 5 in 10,000s and 2 in 100,000s now how we speak those numbers so when we have to write in words we follow left to right rule that is we start with 2 
in both the cases and not with 3 and 4. So, in the first case, the 24 belongs to the 1000 group and it is a family. So, we put them together writing 24,000. Then it is 753. Similarly, 258, 374, 258 belongs to one family of thousands. So, we write it as 258,374. When we write in words, we have to remember that we follow the rule of left to right. And when we have to write the place value of a particular digit, then we start from right to left. Moving ahead, the value of digit 7 in the same numbers, that is 24,753 and 258,374. We have written it in the tabular form and we see that in 24,753, the 7 comes in the hundreds place. So, the value of the digit 7 is 700. It is in numbers. If we have to write in words, we can write it as 7 hundreds. It can also be written as 70 tens. 70 tens, tens means 1 and 0. So that 0, so 70 times 10 is 700. It is the another way of writing the same thing. So in exams, in order to confuse you, they can, evaluator can ask this type of questions. In the B part 258374 from the table we can see that 7 is placed under the column of tens. So the value of the digit 7 is 7070 or 7 tens. In 7046 from the tabular fo uh, form we can say that 7 is placed in the thousands column. So it is 7000 in words or 7000 in numbers or 70 hundreds because in hundreds if you look it is having one zero zero so they are having two zeros so 70 times 100 is 7000 or 700 tens in tens it is one and zero so 700 times one and zero that is 10 is equal to 7000 the same way but different representation now we have seen about numbers with the whole numbers that is uh, 7048 and all those things were a whole number now the numbers with decimal point that is 745.68 now there is an interesting thing before decimal point we go from right to left while we put the places of the digit that is we go from 5 ones 4 tens 7 hundreds but for the digits after the decimal point, we continue from left to right. That is 6 will come first and then 8 will come. Before decimal point, if you carefully look, the lowest digit start with 1s. That is, we write 5 1s, then it comes 4 10s. But after decimal point, it doesn't have any 1s. So, it starts with 10th, the next digit is 100th. The third one is thousandth and so on. And we put th. So there is a very minute difference in the table below. You can see that there is one number 745.68. So 5 is in the 1's position, 4 is in the 10's position. At the same time, 6 is in the 10th position. So there is just a minor difference of s which is before the decimal point if the tens is there and after the decimal point it is th. So we can write 745.68 so 0 0.68 is read as 6 tenth or 0 0.6 and for 8 we write it as 800 th or 0 0.08. Similarly in the next example 258.34 3 is in the 10th position so it can be written as 0 0.3 or 3 tenth and 4 can be written as 0 0.04 or 4 hundredth. Hope so far the viewers are clear with the place value chart how we have to put it is in the whole number and into the decimal point. 
if any query you can do share the same into my comment comments below and if you have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel smart study with shivani moving ahead the value of digit 7 when the numbers are written in the decimals that is 745.71 so the here the value of 7 is 0 0.7 or 7 tenth in the number 34.071 7 after the decimal point 7 is at the second position that is the hundredth position so we write it as 0 0.07 or 7 hundredth th 214.897 7 is at the third position after decimal so it will be tenth hundredth thousandth 0 0.007 or 7000th now writing the numbers in words and digit this is the expanded form that is 200000 60000 5000 400 39 then 0 0.1 and 0 0.02 so basically you have to add all these numbers and make a single number so we can do a vertical addition like uh, 200,000 plus 60,000 plus 5,439.102 so we get the answer as 265439.12 now you carefully look at the commas which i have placed in the expanded form it is it the gap of 3 is to 3 is to 3 first thing Second thing, after decimal point, you cannot read the number as 12. You have to split the number as 0 0.12. Point is for the decimal and 1 is 1 and 2 is 2. So, you cannot club it as 12. So, in words, we can write it as 265,000 because they 3 belong to the 1 group of period 1000. Then, 439 point one two now the other example is three hundred thousand plus six thousand plus five hundred plus seven plus zero point zero seven and zero point zero zero eight so when we do vertical addition we arrive at the answer is three zero six five zero seven point zero seven eight so now if we look 306 the first three digit they belong to the group of 1000 so we write it in words as 306 1500 there is no uh, number at the tens position it is zero so we don't write it zero but we write directly write it as 507 point zero seven eight and not as 0.78 or 0 0.078 be very clear in this that after decimal you have to write it individually no clubbing is there what number is now if i want to answer that what number is 10 times bigger than 0.8 now there is a trick to it when it is bigger and when you write times means it is a multiplication so it is 0 0.8 times 10 now going back to our previous videos i have shown you the trick that you have to do apply mr dl it is multiplication go right division go left so it is times bigger bigger means it is multiplication so we have to follow multiplication go right so you have to just shift the decimal point by one place because it is having only 10 so 10 means basically there is only one zero so you have to shift the decimal point by one place to the right side giving us the answer as 8 now when we look at 10 times smaller than 0.8 so when the word smaller comes you have to apply the rule division means 0.8 divide by 10 Again, we follow Mr. DL division go left. So, we have to shift decimal point by one place to the left side. Giving us the answer 0 0.08. Few more examples we will have a look at. 
100 times bigger than 60. So bigger means we will follow multiplication rule, shifting it on the right side. And in 100, there are two zeros. So we will shift by two places. That is 60 and we add two zeros, which will become 6000. When I write 100 times smaller than 60, smaller means we will follow division. So 60 divided by 100, we will go on the left side. So it will be 0 0.60. 100 times bigger than 4.5, bigger, again we will go to multiplication. So 4.5 times 100, we will shift the decimal point to the right by two digits because in 100 there are two zeros so we get an answer 450 similarly 100 times smaller the word smaller indicates that we have to go division means go left so 4.5 divide by 10 we will shift the decimal point to the left by two places because in 100 there are two zeros so if we will arrive at the answer 0.045 hope all this part is clear to you. If any queries are there, I will be helpful to you if you write it into the comment section and let me know how you like the video and where you are stuck with. So thank you. Have a nice day.